Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telisco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial on the JavaScript for beginners and yes we are beginning with jQuery So jQuery is a JavaScript library and in next few videos we are going to be touching up on the concepts of jQuery because I thought that we should include this topic in this JavaScript for beginners playlist because the plain vanilla JavaScript that is what we've been learning for so far is not really used a lot when it comes to real world scenarios you know so when you are dealing with the plain javascript you need to write a lot of code to achieve basic functionalities and jquery is a framework or you can say it's a library built on top of javascript which enables us to write less and do more which means that you can do things that takes lot of line of code in javascript and you can do that same thing in single line or couple of lines in jquery so a quick disclaimer we are not going to be covering everything in jquery because jquery itself can take around 50 to 60 videos and it can be separate playlist itself but yes i thought that we should be covering this jquery because this will give you a sense of how javascript is actually being used in real world scenarios and jquery is a widely used javascript library so with that being said let's just take a little bit of introduction and then we'll set things up we'll download the jquery library onto our system and include it in our project folder okay so what is jquery so jquery is a fast small and feature rich javascript library so don't confuse yourself with jquery being a completely separate framework or some new technology it is basically just a library which is pre compiled by some developers and it is open source and it has a lot of javascript code which will ease our work so that we can write less and do more so the purpose of jquery is to make it much easier to use javascript on your website and it gives us a feature of write less and do more so that's the basic concept of jquery and it is one of the most widely used javascript libraries it's a pretty old library but it is still being used by a lot of developers one of the best feature is it is cross browser compatible which means that it is pretty much working on every modern browser exactly the same and it is also open source and free to use okay so there's a huge community which contributes and updates this jquery library from time to time so we get different versions from over the course of time and moving ahead jquery takes a lot of common tasks that require many lines of javascript code to accomplish and wraps them into methods so that you can call them with a single line of code so as i mentioned it is used to help us ease our task so the code that takes like 10 to 15 or maybe even 50 lines of code can be done in one single line and i'll give you a short example in this video at the end also and jquery also simplifies a lot of complicated things from javascript like ajax calls and dom manipulations so the primary features that jquery library contains are html dom manipulations so we've been doing the document object model manipulations from javascript also using the document dot get element by id right so we used to access the html elements and perform operations on it so jquery also helps us do that but it is done in a very much simpler way by using directly methods then we have css manipulations we have html events so events are handled a little bit differently in jquery we have the same set of events but they are handled differently we have many effects and animations which can be done in single line of code and that's the example that i'm going to show you today then we have ajax which is asynchronous javascript and xml then we have different utilities and on top of jquery we have jquery ui and some other technologies as well which we can touch up in the end of this video series but this was just a little bit of theory on jquery let's move on to the actual practical implementation on how to include this jquery into our project because that will give you a real sense of what exactly is jquery in terms of the practical scenario okay so this is just the theory and you'll be like okay let's actually see jquery in action right so let's do that so open up your browser and go to this website jquery.com this is the official website and you can see a lot of things documentations blog plugin we need to just use this you can read through the articles so jquery is a fast small feature rich javascript library so on and so forth and a lot of things which are related to that but right now let's just concentrate on using this jquery into our project folder so just click on this download jquery button so as of now we are on version 3 earlier we had version 1.x 2.x and now we are on version 3 maybe if you are watching this video in future or sometime ahead in time we'll have some new version but it will pretty much support the older versions as well so just click on download jquery and here you'll have different options we have download the compressed production jquery we have download uncompressed development jquery and then we have slim build so this slim build is where some features are removed which excludes the ajax and fx modules but we are going to be using the uncompressed development jquery because we are in development scenario when it comes to production the production version is slightly smaller in size that is the file size is smaller so let's click on this download uncompressed one and once you click on this you can see that there is this entire js document which is loaded and this is the entire jquery library or jquery code which is being typed by as i mentioned some developers for us 
and we can directly use them. So just right click on it and click on save as. Now go to your project code folder and create a folder inside this. Create a JS folder and images folder. Let's keep things organized over here. I'm gonna go into the JS folder. You can see I have already saved this. And what I did is I just changed the name from jQuery-3.3.1 to something easy. So I saved it as jQuery and the type has to be JavaScript file because it is a basically a JavaScript library. Once you save it, go to your folder. So this is my folder inside which I have the code wherein I have the default.html page. Then I have the JavaScript folder and inside that I have this library. Okay. Now let's come back to the Visual Studio code. Open your Visual Studio code and open your code folder inside it. And here's where we have to include the jQuery, right? So what we'll do is we'll include the jQuery at the bottom of the HTML document because it takes some time to load this JavaScript into our HTML document. So it is always preferred to include JavaScript at the bottom after the entire HTML document has been rendered. So use the script tag source attribute. We have to go to the JS folder and inside that we have to say jQuery.js. Okay. So this one line of code will include the entire JavaScript library into your HTML document. And now you can perform some jQuery operations. So I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of how jQuery can be used to animate things. So what we'll do is we'll give this h2 tag an ID. I'm going to say heading one, let's say heading one. Below the script tag, we'll start one more script tag. And inside that, we will include our jQuery code. Now we've included the jQuery library at this line. So our jQuery code should be below that. So again, opening a new script tag and inside that we'll write the jQuery code. Right now, you don't need to worry about the syntax of this code. Just follow along with me. I'm just going to include a button over here. I'm going to give it an ID of BTN1. I'm going to say click me. And right now, let's use the JavaScript way of calling events. That is the click event. So I'm going to say on click. I'm going to call a function. Let's say FN1. Okay. So we have to create that function. So let's do that in the script tag. So I'm going to say function fn1. But inside this function, we are going to be using the jQuery style syntax. Okay. And what we are going to do is on the click of this button, we are going to fade out this entire heading too. So let me go to the code. And this is where let me just zoom in a little bit. In fact, I'll just set it besides the code. Okay, so let me just first call an alert over here just to see if everything is working. When I click on this, okay, so our pop up is coming, which means our JavaScript is working. So on this function call, we have to fade out this entire h2 tag. Now, if you've been following this entire JavaScript playlist, in the previous couple of videos, we saw the animations using plain JavaScript, right? And you remember that we had to first access the entire element, we had to access the opacity, then we had to reduce it. And we had to recursively call the function using the set interval method. But in this case, using jQuery, it will be all very simplified and we'll just need one line of code. So here's how you do it. So I'm going to say dollar, which is basically calling the jQuery library. And it's a selector function. And we'll talk about this as we move ahead right now, just follow along. I'm just going to pass the ID using the hash because IDs are referenced by hash and class is referenced by dot in CSS. I'm going to say dot. I'm going to say fade toggle. And that's about it. Okay, so this is one single line of code, which is going to perform fade in and fade out because this fade toggle function does fade in or fade out depending upon what the situation is. So if it is already there, that is if the heading tag is visible, it will fade out. If it is invisible, it will fade in. So that's what fade toggle does. Let's try to click this. And there you go. You can see it got faded out. If I click it again, it will come back. In fact, you can also give the milliseconds. So I'm going to say 2000. If I click on it, it will take two seconds to fade out. If I click on it, it will take two seconds to come back. And this is the power of jQuery using one single line of code. We did something which we had to write like at least 15 lines of code, right? For the fade in and fade out. If you remember the code from the JavaScript, we had to write a lot of code. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much that you can do in jQuery that it is actually used in real world scenarios a lot. And we'll also brush through a lot of things on jQuery so that you'll be capable enough to experiment yourself and do a lot of things more after learning this. So yeah, this was just an introduction, just the setting up of jQuery, what exactly is jQuery and how to include it in your project file. Now there is another way in which you can include jQuery and that is by using the content delivery network system. 
So right now what we did is we came to this website jquery.com and we click on the download button and we downloaded the code onto our system, right? So there is another way in which you can do this and it is by using a content delivery network. Okay. So if you scroll down on this same page, that is the download page, just go on jquery.com, click on download. And if you scroll down, you can see that there is a concept of using jQuery with a CDN. So what a CDN is CDN in very basic terms is basically a server, which is there on the internet. Okay. So it's accessible via the internet and this jQuery library is stored onto that server. So instead of that jQuery library onto your system, that is downloading it offline onto your system. What you do is you access that server and that server ID is given. That is the entire web address is given by the CDN. So if you just click on this CDNs, you'll understand what exactly content delivery network is and what it does. But to use the jQuery CDN, you can see this link HTTPS code.jQuery.com. Just click on it. And this is where you can see all the CDNs. That is the link to the CDN. Just select the uncompressed one. That is the jQuery core. Click on it. And you can see that this link is provided. Just copy this entire thing. Come to your code and paste it over here. And now if you comment this out, even then jQuery will be included into your folder provided that you have internet connection, right? Right now the jQuery library is being located at this location. So if you just copy this and go to your browser and paste it, you'll see that the entire jQuery library is over here online. So what you're doing is you're accessing this entire jQuery library online and this will only work if you have internet obviously. And then this integrity is something which is related to security stuff. You don't have to bother about it. So this is another way in which you can use this jQuery library and even now the code will work. You can see we got fade, fade out effect. Let me just reduce this. If I click on it, we get fade out. If you click on it, we get fade in, which means that jQuery is still being used into our system because it is being accessed over the internet. So this is another way. Okay. So we'll go through the offline way that is we'll download the jQuery onto our system because that is the basic way when you are actually hosting your website onto a server where when you're making things live, generally CDNs are preferred because the CDN servers are very fast compared to our servers. Okay. So that's why depending on those CDNs is much more safer and much more smarter way of using jQuery or any other libraries. Okay. So that's it for this video guys. I just wanted to take an introduction to jQuery. What is jQuery and how to actually use it into our code, how to include the jQuery library and how it works. In further videos, we'll brush up through more concepts on jQuery so that you'll get a very good understanding of how we can use jQuery to enhance our code, enhance our client side front end scripting. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how this video was and see you guys in the next video. Peace.